This is the announcement. This is the announcement. It's Black, Black, Black Friday. Friday. No, that's no. not the announcement. I'm actually have an announcement. Okay, but it's Fun Fact Friday. Fun Fact Friday. Yeah. It is. No, okay, Michelle, my announcement. I got two things to say. One thing. We're learning about women's suffrage, voting, the stuff that women did. The announcement is. It's Fun Fact Friday. Hey, professors, Fun Fact Fridays. Hey. Your kid professors fun fact Fridays. If you ready, time to have us some fun. So many things to know, so many facts to learn. Hey, your kid professors fun fact Fridays. Your kid professors fun fact Fridays. If you ready, time to have us some fun. So many things to know, so many facts to learn. Hey, every Friday, join your kid professors. Let's go. Don't forget to like. And subscribe to our channel down below <laughs> under the screen. Be scroll down. Yes, please. Today and we're going to learn about black women and, and women's suffrage. suffrage. Miles, tell them what suffrage means. Suffrage means the right to vote. We have some other words that we mean. Until we start the episode. The episode already started, though. Before we tell you about women's suffering. Tell them what amendment means. Amendment is a form or official change made to the law, contract, or constitution, or other legal document. Miles, I also want to tell them what ratification Ratification means to approve. is equal to four eighths. Let's look at 15th Amendment. Let's look at the 15th Amendment. The 15th Amendment protects the voting rights of all citizens, no matter their race or color of their skin. It also protects the voting rights of 
former slaves. It was approved of it was approved or ratified on February third, eighteen seventy. While black women played major leadership role leading up to and during the United States women's suffrage movement and and beyond, we rarely hear about their stories, stories of contributions, and the crucial role women played are too often forgotten. There were many suffrages to this movement. One of them is Ida B. Wells. Audrey W. Wells Barnett founded the Alpha Suffrage Club in Chicago and invited members to attend the 1913 Suffrage Parade in Washington. Black women struggled for the right to vote. They held meetings and took part in demonstrations. In 1913, Miss Well Barnett and her followers traveled from Chicago to Washington to attend a suffrage parade. However, they were told to march at the back or not at all. So, Miss Well Barnett refused both options and marched alongside white activists at the front. There's, There's so, so many, many black, black women that help the women's suffrage movement. movement. Like, Class, can, can you, you name a few of the women? I'm Ellis and I'm Lewis. And <laughs> here are some facts about women's suffrage. So Georgia Truth used her belief in, in Christianity to support the, the fight for equal rights for women. Although she was unable to read or write, she made the most of what she had learned throughout her life. Her speeches continued to be used as an uplifting voice for women of all races. Truth remained in contact and worked closely with Elizabeth Stanton and Susan B. Anthony. Mary Church Terrell attended National Women's Suffrage Association meetings and knew Susan B. Anthony, Miss Anthony, and the association allowed her to speak about suffrage its, and its relationship to colored women on several occasions. Miss Anna Julia Cooper attacked black men for praising opportunities unavailable to black women as signs of racial progress. She criticized the leaders of the women's movement for the way they let racism fester. Miss Cooper's most famous written work, a collection of speeches and essays on subjects including women's rights and, ra and racial progress, called A Voice from the South, was published in 1892. Frances Ellen Hawk Watkins Harper was a supporter of the 15th Amendment and founding member of the America Woman Suffrage Association with Frederick Douglass and the others. Even more! Check out the list! President Lyndon B. Johnson announced his intention to pass a Federal Voting Rights Act of 1965, just eight days after Martin Luther King Jr. led a peaceful civil rights march in Selma, Alabama to ensure that no federal, state, or local government could prevent people from voting because of their race uh, or ethnicity. Nicety. Later that year, he signed the Voting Rights Act into law, prohibiting racial discrimination in voting, including reading tests. I can't believe black women, a teaching women, all the types of women, had to wait until 1965 to be able to vote. What, what did you learn today? Talk too loud. Down to love. Down to love.
down to love, down to love, down to love, down to love. That's all, folks. Oh.